Hi, welcome to this quick video. Today we're looking at Class 170 DMU in the Academy. Right, so let's jump right into it. We'll do the primary controls first of all. This is the cat lap. This is the cab of a class 170 diesel multiple unit. This lesson will learn how to start and stop. The camera will change view. Each control is set correctly. Moving. Let's get this train moving. To do so, the direction and power. Direction is controlled by the reverser. Push this all the way forward. Combined lever. This train has a combined power and brake lever set in the middle. Power is neutral. To accelerate, pull the lever towards you, not free. And there we go. Moving boys. Nice looking train. Got a little button there. Got the stop zone coming up. Picking up a bit of speed as well. Oh, we've got a first aid post today, electric shop, HSE from the UK. I'm liking it. Stop it. Now we want to stop. Push the lever slowly forwards until the camera resets. We're breaking down here, look. Put it on here. There we go, stop. Scenario complete. Now let's look at the secondary controls. It's a nice model of a train, this. Welcome back to the cab of this class 170 diesel multiple unit. There is more to this train than simply starting and stopping. In this lesson we will learn about additional controls that drive its frequent use. The camera will change each time the control it is set correctly. Headlights. When it's dark outside it can be hard to see the track and line side. Activate the headlights by turning both switches one notch clockwise. That's that's better. I'll be able to see ahead. Wipers. With the heavy rain outside, it can be difficult to see. Turn the switch left to activate the wipers. Yeah. That's better. We'll now be able to see ahead. Very important tool for the driver is the horn. It is used to warn those ahead that a train is approaching. Push the lever to the left to sound the horn. Mm. Mm. 
Well done, everyone knows you're coming. Scenario complete. That wasn't so hard. Now let's look at the switching cabs. Welcome back to the cab of this class 170 diesel multiple unit. This lesson we will learn to switch between multiple cabs. When a train reaches the end of the line, it must turn around and head back the other way. To accommodate this, modern trains have a driving cab at both ends to save having to physically turn the whole thing around. Our train has just arrived into the station. We are at the buffers. Head back the other way we must change ends. Change ends. To do. do this now by pressing control and plus or minus on the keyboard or selecting next cab reaction menu. There we go. Nice and easy. Next one, we're going to look at stopping at stations. Oh, it's going to get tricky now. Oh, the scenery is pretty cool. Take a picture. Welcome back to the cab of this class 170 diesel multiple unit. In this lesson, we'll learn how to stop at a station at low speed. Objective stopping at the right place on the platform is crucial. And start braking is affected by the weight and speed of the train. The aim should be to apply one brake force all the way to a complete stop for a smooth ride. Okay. We are approaching the station at 25 miles an hour. This is only a small train which will not take much to stop. When you reach the end of the platform, the block notch 2 braking. So here comes the platform. Slowly push the power controller forward into the braking zone. To the braking zone until the camera returns to a forward view. There we go. We're stopping. Congratulations, that was a smooth stop at the station. This concludes the lesson on slow speed stopping at stations. Hmm. Okay. Scenario complete. Let's have a look at loading passengers. Here comes our train. Welcome back to the cab of this class. 170 diesel multiple unit. This lesson will learn how to pick up passengers. It's assumed that you are familiar with stopping at stations. Link each action after closing these messages. At a station you are responsible for opening the doors and allowing passengers to board. We are approaching a station at 25 miles an hour in the train to a stop alongside the platform. Ah, like we did on the last one.
So when we get here. Start breaking. It's about seventy four. There we go, we're we'll stuck. Loading passengers to allow passengers to board, switch to an external view and click on the platform or press T on the key. T. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, it's getting on. Got another train. Congratulations, passengers have successfully loaded. Final destination reached. Away. Let's have a look at coupling and uncoupling. Welcome back to the cab of this class 170 diesel multiple unit. In this lesson we will learn how to couple and uncouple additional trains. During busy periods, operators extend the length of their trains to provide more seats. To do this, several compatible trains are connected together. Modern trains feature automatic coupling systems to avoid disrupting to the schedule. Ahead on the track is another train. Let's couple our train to it. Set the reverser and apply the front. Stop just before the two trains do not exceed. Ah. We want to go forwards. Forward again and then more than one mile until both trains touch and there's a clunk sound. That is a bit weird because I didn't move the first time. Right. Here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna go too fast here. Right. Travel at that speed. No. Go at five. Moving. Slowly getting there. I don't want the speed. It did say one mile an hour, but even though it's a 20 mile an hour track, if right, slowly does it. Nearly there, come on, Jesus. Here we go. 
There's the train in front, look. Slowing down a bit. Congratulations, the trains are coupled together. When in service, remember to change to the front mode cab before continuing the journey. Railway networks are similar to the branches of a tree. As services extend out of a large city, they may split at stations with different parts heading to different destinations. To uncouple from a train ahead, press 6 on the keyboard. Activate the coupling camera, which will roll. Hold control and press the down arrow twice to look at the connection between the two trains. Ah, disconnect, left click, mouse, mouse on the coupling between the two trains. Eh, uh, what? Take it you want this one. Ah, there we go. Congratulations, the trains have been separated. This concludes the lesson. Scenario complete. Way. Thank you for joining us this time. In the next video we'll do the next six X Academy missions for the class 170. See you next time. Remember to leave a like, subscribe and a comment. Thank you.